Hey everyone, Cubic King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash the EG30 modem on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is very big because now once you can go back to the EG30 modem, you can actually uh, update to EKO2, the official update to Android 2.3.6. If you, for some reason, installed or have the EG31 modem, here's how you install install the EK, I'm sorry, the EG30 modem, so you can then install the EK02 modem. Here's, go to settings, and scroll down, go to about phone. As you can see under baseband version, right at the last four digits, it says EG31. That means I'm on the EG31 modem. The reason you're gonna wanna go back to the EG30 modem is so you can update to the EK02 modem. If you're only updating your modem, I'll post a link in the description of the video to install the EK02 modem once you flash back to the EG30 modem. So this is the first step to get to the EG30 modem and then you'll need to flash the zip file to install the EK02 modem. Anyways, click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to Android Creative Syndicate forum right there, EG30 modem. Just click on it, download it. It's gonna be eg30modem.bin. You're then gonna to need to open up Odin. I'll post a link in the description of the video to Odin in case you don't have it. So open up Odin. So double click on it, hit yes. And then it brings up Odin. And now all you're gonna to have to do is actually go to the phone slot right there, press the phone button and then find that EG30 modem.bin that you downloaded, double click on it, it'll be there. It'll be checked next to the phone box, you'll see it says EG30 modem.bin. Now all you have to do is up in the upper left hand corner, make sure only auto reboots check, so uncheck F reset time. Now you can go back to your Epic 4G Touch and then power it on off. We're gonna need to get into Odin mode or download mode. All right, now that my Epic 4G Touch has powered off, I'm gonna to need to go into Odin mode. To do so, press the volume down button and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those. Keep it held down, brings up this screen, press the volume up button to continue, and as you can see, download mode. So I am in download mode or Odin mode. Now I'm gonna plug my Epic 4G Touch into my PC, and then in Odin, it should recognize it to show that it recognizes it you'll see a yellow box and it should say COM and then a number. Disregard whatever the number is, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it says COM and then a number. Once it does, you're good to go. Only auto reboots checked and you have the EG30 modem bin in the phone slot. Then just go ahead and hit start. Shouldn't take long at all. It'll flash the modem bin for you, the modem for you, and it should re auto reboot your phone once done. So it's installing and on my phone, it probably will flash a progress bar. It is taking a little while, so be patient with it. It might stick at this screen and just be patient. It might take a couple minutes to, to flash, so definitely be patient. So as you can see right there, it says now writing. Please wait about two minutes. So it will take a couple minutes to install. On my phone, it just flashed the uh, progress bar. So it's definitely working and doing something. So you just gotta be patient with it and let it write the modem to the phone. And there you go, reset, pass. It took a minute and 13 seconds for my my phone to flash the modem. And now it's rebooting my Epic 4G Touch. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it reboot. And that's about it. You can actually unplug your phone from your PC. And once it boots up, I'll show you that I'm running the EG30 modem now. All right, now my phone has powered on. I'm gonna go ahead and hit menu, go to settings, scroll down to about phone. And then under baseband version, right there. EG30, there you go. You now have the EG30 modem on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I'll link to the video in the description. I'll link to the, yeah, the update video to the EKO2 modem in the description of this video in case you, now you can update to the latest modem EKO2. So I'll link to that, but other than that, that's how you install the modem. You're also gonna be, be able to completely go back to stock EG30 in case you want to for any reason to install this. I'll post a link 
to that in the description of the video. Once I make that video, it'll be a completely back to stock video. It will eliminate my EG31 video since you'll definitely want to rather go back to EG30 stock as opposed to EG31 stock. But that's it. Um, you now on the EG30 modem. That's how you install the modem. If you do run into any problems, have any questions, feel free to ask. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Be sure to subscribe to me for future videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Links will be in the description of the video. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.